Hey y'all, welcome back to Poplar Creek Farm. Today is officially the day I get to plant my garlic, which I just took about 45 minutes to find it. <laughs> find the box of garlic. So what I'm gonna do first is my least favorite part of the job of planting garlic, and that is shelling them all. Getting them all into individual little cloves so that we can plant them. Um, I'm gonna start with my German white. I've got two big packages of that. That's the red. And the ivory hill. Some more German white. Plus, I bought some extra German white. Because, why not? So, like I said, this is my least favorite part, but this is necessary to be able to plant it. Now, we tilled up the space. Um, the tiller didn't seem to go super deep. So, uh, I bought some, and we haven't really amended this soil at all yet. Although, we had animals on it. We had um, meat chickens run over some of the space and we've had the rabbits on it. So it should have some amendment, um, but it's not 100% amended. So because of that, um, I bought some cow manure and compost mix, bought a bunch of bags of it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a big trench, plant all the garlic, and then go through and cover with the compost. Um, just because I can't like spread it around because I don't know exactly how much space this is going to take. This is a lot of garlic. Um, I probably have a couple hundred cloves, um, of garlic to plant here. So it's going to take me a little bit. Um, but I want to make sure that I get it in the ground today. And so this will kind of be the quickest way. I also bought three, um, large bales of straw that I'm going to cover this with and uh, mulch it for the winter. So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm going to start breaking this up. Which is again my least favorite part just because like it's not the easiest thing in the world especially when you don't have nails if i had nails this would be easier do i have blood that's a marker all right so i got scissors out here now mm. that's so good all right so what you do is you break them apart. You don't have to peel the skin off. It'll come off. It'll break down. Um, you plant them. So you plant them blunt side down, pointed side up. So I'm going to make a trench and I'm just going to set it in there. Now this is a really good size clove. So is this one. But I have, I have some really tiny ones. I won't necessarily plant all the tiny ones because they're not going to produce the biggest garlic. And I want big garlic. The inside, just toss. And so I got about four cloves from one of these bulbs of, of clover, or of um, clover. Cloves of clover. Cloves of garlic. Most of them will have, it'll kind of range, but it'll be between like four and six. So, like this little baby clove, you can tell in comparison the size difference. Like that's a big difference. So I won't plant this little baby one more than likely. I'm gonna put it in the pile for now, um, but like this one, Woo. especially in comparison, one clove, one clove, big difference. It still will produce some garlic. It'll still produce something. So if I had this space, I might put it in, but I'll start with the bigger ones, plant the bigger ones first and then go to little ones from there. All right, so I am finally just about done peeling this garlic. My fingers hurt. Um, I've got quite a bit of garlic here. I've got three different kinds. I have red rosan, um, which is this really kind of small little garlic. Um, well, I only had six bulbs, so it's not a ton of garlic for that one. Uh, so that one is, that's my smallest and least the garlic I had the least of. Yeah, chicken? You coming to hang out? You come say hi? Yeah. 
Oh, Mr. Roo over there crowing. But here's the German white. And here is the giant ivory, or it's, it's Italy Hill giant ivory. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to dig large trenches. Oh my goodness. Dig large trenches with um, a pickaxe thing. I, I, yeah, pickaxe, that's what it's called. <laughs> um, I'm gonna till, or I'm gonna dig big ditches and then I'm gonna go along and plant. Now garlic doesn't have to be planted super far apart. Uh, let's see, on here it says four to six inches apart. So they can be planted pretty close together. So you can plant quite a bit in a row, especially my garlic, or my, um, my garlic. Oh my goodness. My garden is probably about 50 feet long that way. Um, probably maybe even more than 50, maybe like 75 feet, but either way, I'll have a big, big row. So I'm gonna start with um, the giant ivory, plant one or two rows of those, depending on how many I have. Uh, I'll start with one and, and go to a second if I need it. And then, like I said, I'm going to top dress it with compost and then the straw on top. Um, and it's best to water in the straw because, I mean, as you guys can probably tell, it's a bit windy today. Um, but it, my hose isn't going to reach that. We do need to get another hose. That is one of the plans is to get another hose so that we can actually water this garden. We have a 100 foot hose, but it doesn't go more than 100 feet obviously and our house is back a little ways from here um so hopefully it'll stay we'll see uh but yeah let's get this planted so this today is october so today is october 19th the reason we're planting garlic now when we'll probably have snow on the ground within a month or two um is because that's when you plant garlic you plant garlic in the fall in uh zone 5b upstate new york you plant it anytime between september and Thanksgiving, um, middle to end of September and Thanksgiving. The reason being because you have to plant it obviously before the ground is frozen um, or it won't help you know start establishing. Then you put it to bed so you mulch it which allows a little bit of heat in there, allows some root systems to start taking place and then it goes dormant. It doesn't completely stop growing but it slows down a lot over winter. Then in the early spring you'll start seeing it pop up through the straw. You can remove straw at that point um, and unmulch it because then it's time that it's warm enough that it does okay. These are very cold hardy. That's what they're meant to be. They're meant to you know, grow in these cold climates um, and it will do just fine. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I have some cranberry plants back here, um, two of them that are gonna be moved in spring uh, after they kind of go dormant. I'm just not moving them at this point and then we'll Till up that area too. Um, so I'm gonna go just before those. Um, I'm not gonna go all the way down. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pickaxe with the, the wider end. Okay. And I'm just gonna make a trench. Now, garlic does not have to be planted deep. Two to three inches at most. That's it. Not a ton. Now I'm just gonna go in and drop uh, garlic along here and see how much I can fit in this row. Now I'm just gonna go through each row. Um, this is just the German white. I still have the giant ivory and the uh, red one to plant, but I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna put compost. Now this is not the best compost. This is not the compost I wanted. Um, it's not organic. It is cow manure um, and compost. It's a mix of, uh, let's see. Organic material, um, compost and manure, wood compost and sand. I can tell it has sand in it. It's not the greatest, but this is all they had. Um, so it'll work. 
so I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it in, go down the line and do it because I didn't amend the soil and so I need to add something to help these uh, do well. And then I'm gonna put this soil back on top, the regular soil back on top of it. Um, and then we will put six to eight inches of straw mulch on top to help keep them nice and toasty warm for the winter. Well, that's pretty much it guys. It's nice and easy to plant garlic. It's definitely one of those things that's kind of like, you put it in there and you forget about it. You just leave it until it's ready. Other than har harvesting scapes, which are my favorite part about garlic. Um, that's why I got all hard neck because I just, I love garlic scapes. So I'm gonna finish up planting the rest of this garlic and then get the straw down. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Remember we're growing today for a better tomorrow. Please like and subscribe and join me on the next one.